Yeah, I've had several times that I've spoken to Miss Opal Lee uh, a couple of years ago. By the way, I got a chance to sit down one on one with her to talk about her legacy, her journey to get Juneteenth recognized, which, by the way, she's going to be at the White House today. The last time we were supposed to have her on the show, she skipped town and went to the White House to get Juneteenth signed into federal law. OK, uh, we know she still has a long way to go as far as what her hopes are for this country. We just published, by the way, that full interview on the front page of WFAA.com. I did share it on on X as well. I I sat alongside her and her family when we watched and waited to see if the Nobel Peace Prize nominee will receive that award. So to hear that this is happening right here on her home turf in a country she loves dearly is truly special. So congratulations to Dr. Opal Lee. Mark, we know Ms. Opal means so much to so many people, especially the folks over in Fort Worth. Oh, absolutely. She's about to move into a new home soon as mm -hmm. well on the land that uh, she grew up on yes. many, many years ago. So a long overdue award for her. Uh, turning our